Joseph has just told Pharaoh that the weird dreams he's had means that there are going to be seven really good years followed by seven really bad years. So Pharaoh needs to put someone in charge to get ready for the really bad years. What will Pharaoh do? Let's find out. When I say crick, you say crack. Ready? Crick. 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 Pharaoh had a big smile on his face. He was so happy that Joseph had been able to help him with his dreams. He also liked Joseph's idea of putting someone in charge of everything so that there would be enough food for when things got tough. He said to Joseph, it's obvious that God is with you. He has made you very smart, kind and helpful. It's also clear that you love him very much. There's no one better than you to put in charge of the whole of Egypt. I want you to be my second in command. Everyone will do exactly what you tell them to do. Joseph was now very important. And to show everyone that, Pharaoh gave Joseph some fancy new clothes a big gold chain to wear and <gasps> Pharaoh's very own shiny ring. Wherever Joseph went, people would say, Joseph is coming and kneel down in front of him. Oh wow, go Joe! God blessed Joseph with lots of good things and Joseph used his new job and all the power he'd been given to help everyone in Egypt. Just as God had told Pharaoh through his dreams, for the next seven years, everything went really well in Egypt. Joseph stored up all the food that was made, but there was so much that he couldn't even keep track of it all. Everyone was very happy and full. But then the sun got too hot and there was no rain. The ground was so dry that it started to crack and all the plants shriveled up and died. No more food grew. Oh dear, it was the start of the seven really bad years, just as God had said. People started to get very hungry, and not just in Egypt. Things were so bad that all the countries nearby also had no food. Oh no, people in Egypt moaned to Pharaoh, there's no food, it's too hot, we're starving. Don't look at me, Pharaoh said, Joseph's the one who can help you. So Joseph opened up all the storehouses where all the food was being kept. He started giving it out to people so that they could eat. People in other countries heard about this too. So they traveled there from far and wide to come and buy food from Egypt. And Joseph helped them all. Will there be enough food for everyone to eat? We'll hear more about that next week. <laughs>